All right, docs, you should have completed the trauma assessment portion, and now we will move on to the medical assessment. While the trauma assessment can be summed up as a kind of down and dirty assessment that focuses on keeping the patient alive, the medical assessment is a more thorough evaluation that also focuses on keeping the patient alive. Remember to follow universal precautions and use a proper PPE. As with the trauma assessment, our medical assessment begins with the scene size up. This is where the corpsman should be asking the same questions as with the trauma patient. Am I wearing the proper PPE? Is the scene safe? Was the patient exposed to a hazardous substance that needs to be removed before I can work on them? How many patients do I have and will they require more personnel to treat and transport? Do I need to stabilize the spine? The primary survey is also similar to the trauma assessment. We will verbalize our general impression of the patient at this point. We will also determine the responsiveness or level of consciousness. For medical patients, we use the mnemonic AVPU, A-V-P-U. A is alert, V is verbal stimuli, P, painful stimuli, U, the patient is unresponsive. We will also determine the chief complaint and try to identify any life-threatening situations at this point. After that's done, then we move on to the ABCs. Is the airway patent and is the patient breathing and adequately, adequately ventilating? We could administer oxygen at this point if not. Now we focus on the patient circulation. Is the patient bleeding? If so, control it immediately. Check a pulse and assess skin color, temperature, and condition. Now we take the time to make treatment and transport decisions with the information we've gathered so far. The history taking section is different as we gather much more information than with our trauma patient. We start off with the mnemonic OPQRST, which leads into the sample history. O stands for onset. Was it acute or did it kind of come on gradually? P stands for provocation. Q stands for quality. R stands for radiation of pain or complaint. S stands for severity. And T stands for time, as in how long the complaint has been occurring, and have you ever had this complaint before. At that point, we segue into our sample history. Using OPQRST, we have determined the signs and symptoms, or the S part of sample. So we just start with the A for allergies. And then M for medications. P for past pertinent medical history. L for last oral intake. And E for events that led up to the present illness. Where the trauma and medical assessments really differ is in the next section, which is the secondary exam. We assess the neurological status of the patient. Then we assess the cardiovascular status. Then the pulmonary status. The gastrointestinal and genitourinary status. The musculoskeletal status. The integumentary system. And the psychological and, and social status of the patient. The next two sections are similar to the trauma patient, and these sections are the vital signs and the need for reassess reassessment. The vital signs must include the blood pressure, pulse, and respiratory rates. You must also state your field impression of the patient at this point. An example would be, if, is the patient sick or not sick? Should they be admitted, treated at a higher level of care, or just released home? The last section is reassessment. Continually reassess the patient and note any changes in the patient's status. When you are doing a patient handoff, always provide a verbal report to ensure the continuity of care. All right, we're pretty much wrapping up. So let's go uh, play some Jeopardy and then uh, crush the practical. Have a fine Navy day.